So we are now saved up. And this is the part where it's all going down. You see that mirror? That's the mirror we just uh, came across a few parts ago. But now it's going to play an important role. Because this is the conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, of the game, of the story. This is the end. This is it. This is the final battle. And you know what's going to happen. And it's going to happen right now. Harry is even looking at me like, come on, man, let's do this shit. So we're going to go and do this shit. And enjoy this final part. And I'm going to try to do this without getting hit. It's a hard task. Yeah, Harry. I know you're looking at me like, what? Not getting hit? Dude. I'm going to try to not get hit in this part. Because it's the final fight. And yeah, let's just try and do this. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him face to face. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. This part is really easy. We're gonna knock these pillars down on Voldemort. Then for part two, we're gonna stand behind this obstacle. It'll break down. And then he's gonna reposition him again here. And again, we knock the pillar down. And then we're gonna stand behind here, and then I think you get the idea. Right? So you're probably thinking this is the most boring boss battle ever. And yeah, for a moment it is, but then it gets a little bit more interesting. So this is pillar number three, and you can see his health is going down nicely. So again, we're gonna stand and wait, now we gotta move. He's gonna reposition himself here. And here we go. But now things get interesting, because... No more pillars! The game decides no more pillars! And now Voldemort is going to use homing attacks, which is really, frankly, annoying. So the whole point is you have to st stand behind the mirror. And actually, you have to make sure he hits himself. Now, this is pretty hard because, you know, uh, he repositions himself so much that it's kind of annoying to make sure that he actually does hit himself, because he moves all the time, you know? And of course, it means that you can't really do anything about it. But now he has hit himself because he didn't move for some reason. Now he's gonna do a homing attack. I know he is. It's just the pattern. I kind of really failed to uh, make sure that I could actually uh, move the mirror around. This is actually a really good position to be in. Because if I go over here, he will hit himself again. And now he's going to do his homing attack. So we're going to walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. And now he is ugh, in a really shit position. So we, now we just got to dodge all his attacks. Which isn't really hard to do, really. And I noticed when he does his spinning thing, it actually uh, is an indicator to show that he doesn't really move from uh, another, to another position. Which is useful. And now he's standing on the wrong side of the mirror. So now I'll be really fucked if I just stand still. Ah, you see? So now he's uh, just doing his thing. But I was way too damn late to actually, you know, spin that mirror around. You know, which is really annoying. 
So let's just uh, cast Lependo while I'm trying to uh, dodge this homing attack. And of course, the fucker moves. He moves. Ow. I just got hit there. Come on. He just didn't hit himself, did he? Fuck, dang it. Uh, this isn't good because this is a homing attack. It actually didn't hit him, right? You see, this is the problem with this fight. It's so chaotic. It doesn't make any sense. And it's actually really hard for me to not get hit in this battle because I don't know why. It's just so ridiculously random. It just really is a mess. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons between yourself and Professor Quill is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, the whole school knows. The stone had been destroyed, but Harry remained fearful that its loss would not prevent Lord Voldemort's return. Dumbledore nodded, sharing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck he may never regain his power at all. So the stone's gone, said Ron finally. Harry nodded and wished it good riddance. Then Ron produced a brand new famous Witches and Wizards card from his robes and handed it to Harry. You've got the whole set now, Harry, Ron said. Harry was stunned. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast alone that night. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never, ever forget tonight. That's it. That's the end. <laughs> that was the thing that Fred and George were building up to. The hype. <laughs> the hype was real. So yeah, this is uh, the collection of all the wizard cards. 
This is the 25th wizard card that you now get. Which is, of course, Harry Potter, whose date of birth is unknown. Or year of birth, at least. So, <laughs> we don't know how old Harry is. <laughs> Yay. But, uh, yeah, that is uh, card number 25, which you get by beating Voldemort, getting all 24 other wizard cards, and having 250 beans. And that's why we needed all those damn beans. But it doesn't matter anymore, because we're done with the game. You know, we can look at all the other cards, so that's page 6, page 5, page 4, page 3, page 2, and page 1. But here's the thing, I'm not gonna go through all the wizard cards and all their bios, because... Eh, there's really not much point to it. Also, the music just cut off right there. Great. Uh, so yeah, that's all of that, and now we're gonna go to the credits. I'm just gonna move my mouse away there. So this is the credits, it's really nothing special it's just black and no music so maybe i'm just gonna put the, some background music in there and the credits are actually really short which i actually like in a game like this they're short and that's actually not bad <laughs> so yeah that was harry potter and the philosopher's stone for the pc and as you can see it's a shorter game than harry potter and the chamber of secrets for the pc uh, it only took me like six recording sessions to actually cover the entire game, like 100%ing it for as far as I would like to call it 100%, because, you know, I got all the wizard cards, I got a lot of beans, I beat Voldemort, and there are not really any other collectibles besides this. So, yeah, that's pretty much all <laughs> there is to it. We're gonna go to a post-production talk probably soon after the credits are done because you know that's kind of how we roll that's kind of a tradition nowadays that i do this because i always have so much to talk about after i have completed a rock through series and i would like to thank all the people of course uh that have you know supported me through this series uh you know all the people who have commented on every part and they said oh my gosh that was awesome or you know oh the next part is gonna be great and it's gonna be amazing or whatever you know all the people who have liked the video who have maybe shared it with other peeps uh, you know and all the people who was who were just there you know all the time throughout the whole series well, of course i want to thank ray for quality checking every damn part i made <laughs> because you know that's also a tradition he quality checks my videos, I quality check his videos, and that's kind of how we do things. And, you know, it's, it's all good and stuff. And um, also, I want to thank Pocket Wolf again, because you kind of indirectly, you know, asked for me to do this walkthrough series as well, because, you know, you wanted to do Chamber of Secrets, and I was like, eh, you know, we're going to probably do Philosopher's Stone as well. But now comes the big question. And it's a big question. Will I do a walkthrough series of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for the PC? My answer is, I don't know, because I have the PC game, and I still have to test it actually on this laptop or on my PC at home to see if it's compatible and all that shit, and even if Fraps doesn't do weird things with it. But here's the thing, do you still want to see Harry Potter stuff? Because I can't imagine that maybe people want to see another game besides Harry Potter, because then maybe people think, uh, oh, this dude is playing Harry Potter games for like a year or so. I don't know, man. I kind of want to see something else. I'm kind of done with Harry Potter. Or maybe people are like, yeah, let's just do Harry Potter Prison of Azkaban. I know it's a bit more of a collector's fest in that game than it is in these previous two games. I know that for a fact. Um, but you gotta tell me if you want it, because if you don't want Harry Potter, I can always do another game, because I have plenty of ideas left, of course. Uh, a bit of the nostalgia route, some of them are a bit more uh, different, a bit more modern, but, um, you know, modern games and all that, but with a retro twist to it, so, you know, maybe not, uh, maybe you want to watch that as well, but, you know, that's all just, uh, that's all just for, you know, you, you just gotta let me know, because I don't know. Because I'm not saying I don't want to do it, or I'm saying I'm kind of demotivated to do it, but just saying, if you want something else than a Harry Potter game for the damn PC, then you gotta let me know. Because I'm, well, I'm happy to do it, but only if there's demand for it. 
And uh, for those who are asking, uh, no, I'm not going to do any more Harry Potter games after that. Because I have the fourth game on the PC and it's a piece of shit. Right. I said it. It's a piece of shit. And I think that was really at the point where uh, video games based out of movies were starting to suck. Really. That was probably the point where movie tie-in games uh, sucked. And I kind of, and I really hate Harry Potter 4. I actually never beat it, because I hated it. I hated that game. I hated the whole style of it. It wasn't free roam anymore. It's linear. Well, not even linear. Yeah, it's like linear, almost platforming shit. I hate it. So yeah, no, that was a... Uh, I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to do Harry Potter 5, or Harry Potter 6, or Harry Potter 7 Part 1, or Harry Potter 7 Part 2 for the PC or something, because I don't have those games. And they're all probably very shit, from all I know. But Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban for the PC, that's a cool game. Solid game. I like it. Well, maybe as, not as much as these two, because the style is actually quite different as well. But, you know, that's it. That's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PC. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun making it, and there were less problems with making this walkthrough series than... Uh, than the, than the one of the Chamber of Secrets, because that game just gave me just so many problems time after time with fraps. Uh, this one as well, this one kind of filled on me too sometimes with fraps. Um, but the biggest problem, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this though, <laughs> the biggest problem was at one point, uh, the game didn't work anymore, it didn't want to boot up. It booted up perfectly, the time that we were going when we were actually testing this game. Ray was actually over at my place and we tested the game in one day and it worked. You know, it worked. Great. So when the time was ready, when the time was there, I said, you know what, let's record it. And then it boot up. Then I tried it again and it didn't boot up. And I reinstalled it and it didn't boot up. And then I kind of started panicking because I then I couldn't start. <laughs> so much trouble, much panic. Uh, but Ray has found a solution to this, and you have to literally you have to go to your registry edit, go somewhere, and you have to change a digit. And I can't really remember. Where, from what you have to change it to, but let's just say, for instance, you have to change a 1 in a 0. This is not really the fix, but it's literally like, you see this uh, registry edit? You see this registry file? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it has a value of like 1, you just change it to 0. Boom, game works, and he was right. So, uh, thank you again, Ray, for this. Uh, otherwise, I couldn't even play the game. And, uh, yeah. That's really all I got to say, though. I mean, this is just rambling, of course, but... That's really all I got to say. You know, it's been fun doing this, like I said. And, uh... Yeah. Another 100%. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Hopefully we're gonna get, um... Many more cool achievements... Uh, with the Ranking 3 channel. Because, you know, we're close to 10 million views total and we're close to 10,000 subscribers these are the two main big events that we're probably gonna achieve this year so if you want to help us do it then that would be very much appreciated you support us and you know we're gonna make this thing we're gonna keep doing it you know that's the thing we're gonna keep doing this because I really like it Ray likes it you guys seem to like it even if it's a small audience I don't care it's the thought that counts you don't have to do it for a big audience you just have to do it for those who love it you know and that gives me a really good feeling so uh, thank you again really thank you so yeah uh, now I have to do the uh, regular outro again you know like your favorite if you like the content subscribe to our channel rake you three for more upcoming videos and more walkthrough series and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.